Are you ready to get blushing? Because this video is for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video all about blushing, blushes, and blush. Basically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five drugstore blushes. I was going through my makeup collection and picking out my favorite blushes for this video. And then I just realized that they're all drugstore side. So I might as well just name this a top five drugstore blushes. Bam, that's the title. I personally don't really tend to wear blush every single day, mostly because I'm lazy. But whenever I do wear blush, I notice an immediate difference. My face immediately looks like it has more color in it. My face looks healthy. It looks glowy if I'm using like a very good shimmery formula. It looks more awake. My face generally looks better. So I love blush for that very reason, but I'm also a very harsh critic when it comes to blushes. The two things that I always look for when it comes to a good blush are pigmentation and blendability. For me, I have to have a very pigmented blush because I'm not interested in struggling to build up any color on my cheeks. I want a very nice wash of color on the first go. And I also need to be able to blend the color in very well. Otherwise, I'm left with clown cheeks, which, don't get me wrong, can be a very good look if you're wanting to look like a clown. But for us everyday people, that's not a good look. So you can be sure that all of these formulas that I have down below here are going to be very pigmented and creamy and blendable, basically my ideal blushes. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off with a very cheap alternative. These are $2.99. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I have the old packaging. I have the old packaging and I also have the new packaging. The new packaging, as you can see, is in my opinion a lot better. The pan size is definitely larger. They added some new colors, but the old packaging was a little bit smaller, so it looks like this. You can see that this is the old packaging and this is a new packaging. Supposedly the formula was improved. I still love the formula in the new one, but the old one was good as well, so yeah. So when I first bought these blushes, the very first shade that I bought was Pearlescent Pink. And you can see that it looks like I've barely even used it, but I really have used it a lot. It's just so pigmented that you just need just a little bit of it to make a huge difference. It's very pigmented, it's very blendable, and I love it because it gives you just such a beautiful wash of pink on the cheeks. This shade is pretty much what I would call the stereotypical pink color for blush. It is pretty much a basic color. These are a little bit older, they're a little bit dried out, um, but I still like to use them because they're still quite pigmented. But this one is by far my favorite shade. This is in the shade Apricot in the Middle. Apricot in the Middle. I finally got that. So this is basically a nude blush. This is pretty much the only nude blush that I own, but I do love it because it really just gives you such a beautiful shimmer to the cheeks. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it really is such a beautiful color. It just gives your cheeks so much life and it really looks beautiful. This is how it looks. You can see that compared to the other color, it's a little bit more nude and it's more of a neutral blush and it looks a lot more natural. But I do love it because I can wear this instead of bronzer sometimes and it will still warm up my face and give me that appearance of looking a little bit more bronzed for me personally. So I really love this. This is really blendable, pigmented, I love it. I think it's amazing. Plus, these are only $2.99 at the drugstore. Next, I have two blushes from Essence. This is a brand that's not as well known, but I do love their products. They have some great lip liners and they have some pretty amazing blushes. These are the two blushes that I have from them. This one is number 20, Baby Doll, and this is number 60, Life's a Cherry. These are kind of polar opposites because Life's a Cherry is so bright and so pigmented and so in your face. Face, whereas Baby Doll is a little bit more neutral, but they're both very beautiful. The pigmentation of these is pretty much on crack. They are super pigmented, super blendable. I just need just a little bit of it and it goes a, such a long way. I love these because I have not been able to hit pan on these for so long and I've had these for ages. My favorite shade of the two has to be Baby Doll because it's so neutral and it's so nice and wearable and it's such a beautiful pink to wear on a day-to-day -day basis or in the evening. This is a shade that will go with any look that you wear. It looks good on a variety of skin tones and with different makeup looks and I definitely think that this is amazing Amazing, especially since the price is only about two dollars which in terms of a having a blush that's this quality is 
amazing. So this is a little bit of a newer find for me. I'm not sure how much this is exactly. I do know that you can get this at Ulta. This is the Makeup Revolu Re Revolution. <laughs> the Makeup Revolution the matte blush and it pretty much looks like this. In comparison to all the other blushes that I'm showing you guys in this video, this one is a little bit drier but that is okay because it blends out just fine. This is in the shade Nude and as the name suggests it's a very basic blush color. It's matte and it really just blends out really well. It is kind of similar to the Essence uh, Baby Doll blush but the baby doll one is a little bit more cool toned and it's a little bit more pink. This one is a lot more nude, hence the name, but I really, really love this. And the pan size is also very generous as well. It is quite large and I do love using this with pretty much any makeup look as well. Okay, next I have two blush palettes from e.l.f. Oh my god, these are amazing. If you're going to get one blush from this video, I would suggest getting one of these or one of the Essence blushes because these are amazing. They're so pigmented. These blushes and the Essence blushes are both extremely pigmented. I have these two palettes and one is in the shade Light. And as you can see, it has four colors in... Ugh! And as you can see, it has four colors in here, which are all in the light family. You can wear this if you're light-skinned or dark-skinned. In my opinion, it will look good on any skin tone because it's so pigmented. It will show up very well. But you can also get this one. This is in the shade Dark, and it's my favorite because this is pretty much makeup porn for me. I love it. I think it's amazing. As opposed to the lighter palette, this one has a variety of very deep, dark tones. The colors blend out seamlessly. And yeah, I pretty much love both of these. These are both amazing. I love how pigmented these blushes are because you just need just a little bit of it on a brush and just blend it in your skin and that will be enough. That will be so beautiful, so stunning. And I especially love using this as eyeshadow. If you've seen some of my other tutorials, you might have recognized this palette as one I used in a eyeshadow tutorial a while back. I pretty much used, I believe, this color, but these are so incredibly pigmented that they work really well for the eyes and I, I I just have no words. I love these so much. Last but not least, I have some Milani baked blushes. These are the ones I'm wearing today. I happen to be wearing, oh, uh, let me see. Ooh. I happen to be wearing this one called Bellissimo Bronze on my cheeks and on my eyes. If you've noticed in the center of my eye look, I have a little bit of a bronzy touch going on. That is this blush right here. It is pretty much a beautiful, glittery, shimmery, bronzy wonderland for me. I love this. This goes on beautifully. It's super pigmented. It reminds me of the Hourglass blushes in the way that it is kind of like a marbleized finish, but it goes on so easily. These are probably the most blendable from this entire video. These blend out beautifully, and they're all so pigmented. This is Bellissimo Bronze, which happens to be my favorite shade, but they're all amazing. I have loved these for years. I especially love these because you can easily wear them in lieu of a highlight because they're so they're all very shimmery. Another one of my favorites from this um, selection is called Luminoso. This is pretty much everyone's favorite blush shade from this entire line because it is pretty much the perfect peachy pink color. Plus the compacts are not that bad to look at. They're very beautiful, they're very goldy, and they look amazing. And again, you get such a large amount in this pan. I love these and it's pretty much unbelievable to me that these are drugstore because the quality of these is so freaking amazing. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some insight on what to get from the drugstore in terms of blush colors. I definitely love wearing all of these blushes. They're so amazingly high quality. They're really amazing. So if you're looking for a blush at the drugstore, definitely look for one of these blushes. They're not only cost efficient, but the quality is superb. I choose these over my more high-end blushes all the time. So if you ever want a new blush or you've never had blush before and you want to try a blush, definitely go to the drugstore. They have some amazing blushes here. And just choose one of these blushes to buy for yourself because they're really amazing and I definitely am in love with them. I have a blushing love affair with all of these blushes. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!